This is 100% off-grade water. I hit the jackpot when I was digging the post holes for this water tower because I just so happened to come across this old water line right here that runs straight into the side of the well. So I'm thinking that I can just cut the water line right here because this is way bigger than the lines I need to run. I'm hoping I can just run it right through here. Well, that was easy. So now I'm gonna get the pump back out of the well and just get it laid out here. And I'm gonna get rid of this clear plastic hose. Let's see if I can get this half inch pex on here. There we go. Pex is on, let's get the pump back down in the well. Oh, this thing is so heavy. Woo! Pex isn't UV resistant, so I'm gonna feed it through this PVC just to shield it from the sun. Get the Pex on here. Now we gotta hook the solar panel back up, plug the wires back in, and wait for the sun. Guys, I feel water coming through this. I hear it. Oh, it's working! It's working! Freaking clouds again! Now you guys are very smart. You made the point that I need vent holes for the air to escape. Good news, there's water in the barrel. Okay, we have our first problem. Water is coming out of the vent hole. We're gonna have to fix that and come up with a different ventilation system. Found the second problem. This vent is leaking, but this vent is not leaking. The idea just occurred to me that the water coming out of this well makes these pipes so icy cold that you could probably use it to build some kind of off-grid solar powered cooling system. Okay, we've got on-demand off-grid water and the wooden barrel itself doesn't leak, but as you know, we've still got a couple things to sort out, but I'm not worried about it. We'll figure it out, so stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna keep cranking away on this epic project.